Hey, what's up? This is Reed, and today I'm going to be reviewing Griffin, a mesh Wi-Fi router that can protect your network and has good parental controls without sacrificing speed. Griffin has been out for a little while, but I've never heard of him until I bumped into him at CES, which you might have seen in my CES video. I started looking at the specs for the Griffin router, and I was actually really surprised. This thing is way better than I would have guessed, and it's great at handling a bunch of smart home devices. Plus, it's really easy for anyone to use. What's cool is that Griffin is basically three things in one. A router, a parental control device, and a network security monitor that also blocks malware. Griffin also sent us this for an unbiased review. All right, let's talk about the specs of this router. It uses tri-band, so two bands for the 5 gigahertz spectrum and one band for the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. And a lot of routers use the dual band and tri-band is just going to make it so your Wi-Fi doesn't get congested as much. It also uses 4x4 MUMIMO, multiple user, multi-input, multi-output. And what that means is four devices that are compatible with that can have a steady stream to the router. So they have a constant stream to Netflix or a game and you're not going to have the router jumping back and forth between those devices. It also uses a half gig of RAM and four gigs of flash memory. And you're probably wondering, are all these specs even good? Well, in comparison, the Orbi Mesh Wi-Fi router uses the same specs. So yes, they are pretty good. It also has six antennas, but they're internal, which helps the Griffin keep a nice clean look. It has an LED light underneath that looks good and it can be turned off at night if you want. The device also has some weight to it, so it feels like it's premium quality. What's nice is that you can just start off by buying one for about $200 and it'll cover a house up to 3,000 square feet. And if you want to buy more, it'll create a mesh Wi-Fi system. And for these specs, I feel like the price is pretty reasonable. Our house is about 2,200 square feet and one Griffin router covered it very well. For setup, download the Griffin app and it'll walk you through the steps, which are very simple. You give the router the same name and password as your previous Wi-Fi router, and all your devices will connect to it, and you just disable your old Wi-Fi router. I had a few smart light bulbs that I had to flip the switch on and off to get it reconnected, but it was a fairly painless process to get all our smart home devices connected. In the app, you can create users that you can assign profiles to. It has some defaults for the age group that you select, for each user, and that can be adjusted. More on that in a bit. Then you will want to assign device names to the devices on the network. This is one of my main annoyances with Griffin. It isn't easy to name the devices. A lot of them say unknown, and it doesn't show the IP address unless you click on it. Even if you could just sort by IP addresses, that would help so much because then I could just use the Fing app and see which IP address belongs to which device. Hopefully something like this can be easily improved with an app update. Once the devices that you want to monitor are labeled, you can assign them to users. As I mentioned, it also has parental controls. It has safe search for YouTube. You can also enable browsing history, but it only shows you the website and not what individual pages or videos are watched on YouTube. And this is a real disappointment because I wanna see what pages or videos are watched. You can also block off the internet during homework times or bedtime. You can configure profiles to only have access to certain apps. And this is nice for kids because you might not want your toddler opening up Reddit or posting to your Instagram. Or maybe you do because they're better at posting to Instagram than you are. If a site is blocked, you can have your kid request that the site be unblocked and it will send you a notification to unblock it. You can also make it so they can't use VPNs to bypass the filters. You can pause the internet for a user or a specific device. All of these controls are very easy to use and someone that's non-technical should have no problem using them. Finally, Griffin blocks sites with malware and ransomware. It also scans your devices on your network for vulnerabilities. For these security features, it costs $10 a month, but the first year is free. And if you don't want to pay $10 a month, you still get the parental controls. Griffin is a very secure router and it helps you stay safe even if you're not a network security expert. Like it doesn't have default passwords, the ports are stealth, and it does a lot of other things behind the scenes. How does it compare with other options out there? You might have heard of Disney Circle and they art poison the whole network. And what that is, is a method that hackers use. It's also known as man in the middle attack to see all the traffic on your network. And if you've ever art poisoned a whole network, it can really slow down the network. Not that I've ever done that before. Griffin keeps things moving quickly at three gigabits per second with overall throughput, which is awesome because that's just as fast as any other top of the line consumer router out there. And I did speed tests and they were all very fast. Of course, there's other fast routers out there, but they're usually basic parental controls compared to Griffin's. 
Connected devices can be harmful to kids and expose our network to vulnerabilities. I have a daughter who uses an iPad and of course a lot of smart home devices in my house. So this subject is really important to me. If you're looking for a fast router or a mesh Wi-Fi system, then I think Griffin could be a good option for you. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more smart home videos, and we'll see you again next time. Next time on Smart Home Solver, the router blocks 10 malicious sites. 10 points to Griffin, door.